If you have five out of the six things that I'm gonna talk about today, you probably have a legitimate slowing metabolism. I'm not talking about a slow metabolism that you notice because you're gaining weight. You can gain weight for a number of reasons. You could be eating too much, you could not be exercising enough, but are you gaining weight because your metabolism is legitimately slowing down? So these six things are going to be a little bit different than things you've heard before. And if you have five out of these six, then there's a good chance that you need to evaluate some things. And I'll do follow-up videos that talk about how to actually correct a slowed metabolism. Hey, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then also hit that little bell icon so you can turn on notifications and you know whenever I go live. And after this video, go ahead and check out Sun Warrior. So if you're interested in trying different kinds of protein powders that are plant-based, whether you're keto or not, you may wanna check them out. Their Warrior Blend is awesome. A wide variety of pea protein along with hemp protein to make sure that you're getting everything that you need. So I highly recommend you check them out. Special link down below in the description for after you watch this video. All right, so let's break this down and make it simple. I'm gonna make it short for you. Number one, you're cold all the time. There was a study that was published in Chronobiology International that took a look at participants and they found that on average, people that had a higher BMI over 30 had a core body temperature that was 0.63 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than others, than those that had a lower BMI. Now this could mean a number of different things, but basically their metabolism slowed down enough to equate to four to five pounds of fat gain per year. It doesn't sound like much, but that's that creeping weight gain that we get as we get older. So slowed metabolism is related with being cold. And what happens is simply put, your T3, your active thyroid hormone, gets converted into active T3 inside the brown fat. Brown fat is our good fat tissue that generates heat. So as your metabolism slows, you might have a difference in more white fat versus brown fat, which means that you're having less T3 actually getting converted. T3, your thyroid hormone, is what is responsible for keeping you warm and for keeping your metabolism elevated. So if your T3 is low, you're cold, and your metabolism is slow. So that's number one. Okay, number two, dry skin and dry hair. All right, what the heck am I talking about here? What does this have to do with the metabolism? People think metabolism and they just think their waistline. They forget that metabolism is cellular respiration, cellular energy, creating energy. Now what happens is our hair and our skin has a high degree of cell turnover. Okay, so it has a very fast turnover, which means the cells replicate and die very, very fast. If our metabolism is slow, it means that cellular regeneration is gonna slow down, which means that cells that have a fast turnover, we're gonna recognize the symptoms manifesting in those places faster. So it can actually be a good indicator. If you start noticing, man, I'm getting dry skin all the time, my hair is getting brittle, and I'm cold all the time, well, that might be a good early indicator for you that your metabolism is slowing down. You might need to add some high intensity interval training or do a quick bout of a diet change to change stuff up. It's just something to pay attention to, okay? It makes a big difference. The next one is going to be headaches. What? Yeah, you're getting chronic headaches all the time. There was a study that was published in the journal Headaches that found, took a look at 8,400 participants over a span of 20 years, and it found that those that had headaches, that suffered from headaches, were 41% more likely to suffer extreme weight gain and a slowed metabolism. Now, correlation does not equal causation. However, we can dive in a little bit deeper when we start looking at the physiology. You see, what happens is something interesting. When our body temperature gets cooler because our thyroid slows down, we end up having leaky vessels. And these leaky vessels end up triggering water retention, fluid retention. Well, guess what? This fluid retention can happen out of the vessels near our brain. So then we have inflammation and pressure, and then the throbbing, there you go, there's your throbbing headache. So there is a correlation. Again, just because you have a headache doesn't mean your metabolism is slowing down. But we're adding these up, stacking them up, one by one by one. Next one is another one that people forget about, constipation. What? You thought you just weren't eating enough fiber. Well, guess what? It all has to do with cellular activity. If your metabolism is slowed down, everything's slowing down, including your gut motility. Okay, the thyroid is responsible for taking care of just everything staying alive and moving and the metabolism going and body temperature, and that includes your intestinal cells. If they are not activated and they are not moving fast, neither is your, well, bowel movement. The next one, cravings. Who doesn't have cravings? Okay, but cravings stacked up with being plugged up, with having a headache, with feeling cold, and having dry skin and nails. Okay, well, yeah, now it's starting to make some sense, all right? So what's going on with the cravings? What's happening is you are developing insulin resistance because your metabolism is slowing down. Your cells have become so resistant. They've seen so much blood sugar, and they've seen so much insulin that they're now just keeping the door shut. So what happens? You eat food, 
and normally that food would nourish you. It would nourish your cells, but your cells are keeping the door shut because they're insulin resistant. So that food you ate isn't doing you any good. It, you just, your cells are like, I'm still hungry. They're starving. So they're barking orders at your brain saying, eat, eat, because your metabolism is slow and they're barking orders telling you to eat more. That's what a craving is, my friends. And last, but certainly not least, is depression. Now, which came first, okay? You get fat, you get depressed. You gain weight, you get depressed. You can't get the weight off, you get depressed. But is there a physiological explanation between why you're actually depressed? And did you get depressed first? Or was it just a by sign of your slowed metabolism? You see, it has to do with leptin. Leptin is the messaging from your fat cells to your brain. It tells your brain, hey, brain, we got plenty of fat on hand. We can start burning it. Go ahead and rev up the metabolism. But if our leptin levels are low, then guess what? We don't rev up the metabolism because the brain just assumes everything's fine because it's not getting the phone call from leptin. Well, it turns out there is a link between low levels of leptin and depression. So when our leptin levels are low, we can get depressed. We have a bunch of leptin receptors in our brain in the amygdala and different areas that regulate emotion. So if they're not getting activated by leptin, then they're not regulating emotion properly. So you get depressed, you get anxiety, you get all of this. It can really be a bummer. Now, obese people actually, believe it or not, have high levels of leptin, which is weird, right? Obese people, you, does that mean they're just going to be fat and happy? No, that's not what it means it, because they end up having what's called leptin resistance. They have so much, the, the fat has been calling the brain for so long saying, hello, hello, we've got fat here, turn on the metabolism because people are so overweight in this case that the brain is finally like, I'm not answering that phone call anymore. You're calling me off the hook. So what happens? Leptin stays elevated, but it never actually hits its receptor in the brain. Therefore, fall into the cascade of depression. You're cold. You have a headache, you have dry skin, nails, and hair, you're constipated, you have cravings, and now you're depressed. You have a slowed metabolism. So make sure you keep it locked in here on my channel or have a bunch of other videos that'll break down how to correct some of these things. And as always, comment if you have ideas for future videos. See you soon.